called out? Going down the road. Getting its test. Uh, Mike Charlie Bravo, Kilo Delta, what's the number? Get back anyway here. Is it Kilo Delta Zero, Mike Charlie Bravo, 59 Connecticut? Just a little riding around. I'm on the back road, so I ain't going fast. Uh, in case anybody's wondering. Yeah. See what that sounds like without the uh, noise blanker while the truck's running. <laughs> Pretty rough. Got to turn that on for sure. I'm sure I can find a way to quieten that down a little bit. Like I say, I'm just on a little bitty road, so <laughs> for all the uh, safety Nazis out there. But I can get right now. I've just got 20 meters tapped and 40 meters, and I got it on 40 right now. And uh, I'll show you when I get to the house a little bit more about the antenna and uh, kind of show you how I got it put together. But I'm not going to take it off the truck and do it. I've got started good in where I could do like pieces and actually show how I did it. Uh, I'll show off my bracket here in just a second. Uh, and show you what I got. But I'll be back here in just a second. All right. Without the truck running, I'm gonna turn that off. That sounds good. All right. Now I've got my power just run up under the dash and I got a uh I'll show you. But I got a power poles up here I can just take that loose right there. That's running to the battery and then this runs down to the radio. Uh, that way I can unhook it. Get the key out. Let's go ahead and turn it off. I don't need it on. Sorry, wasn't ready for that. Let me show you the bracket. I took Henry's bracket and just kind of modified it. But I've made a little strip that fastens to the uh, floorboard there. Then this piece of metal here slides back into here. To get this out, all I got to do is slide it straight out. Uh, that way all I can do to take it apart, I can unplug it here, unplug the coax, take that whole thing out. That way if I need my uh, center seat, sometimes I got the boys and there's you know six of us uh, for now i've just got the coax run through the back glass and it's got a little hole in the corner of the glass it goes so it don't pinch it uh, and then it runs up under the toolbox comes out right here and just hangs there i need to weatherproof it a little more but all this can be taken off and taken backpack all i gotta do is unscrew this Take the coax loose, and the whole thing just comes right off. But I've got, let's see, it's an inch and a quarter PVC pipe with inch and a quarter caps. The whip's 52 inches long, 53, something like that. Uh, that's old uh, CB antenna that Roger gave me that he'd cut down to 10 meters. So I bought the bolt that that attaches to. It was like a 5 16 24, so it took me a minute to find that. That screws right on. It just comes on and off if you want it. Uh, the coil, I don't have a measurement. Uh, what I did was the first one I made wasn't long enough to get 40. So I did six turns per inch on this. And down here to end up getting 40, which is where the pin is right here, ended up being... Uh, this is 62 turns around that don't know how much wire that is I, I had a 500 foot roll and I just started turning and uh, like I say it's 62 wraps to get 40 the first one was 48 wraps and it wouldn't tune 40 so uh, most of these I can only get about a 1.5 uh, I've got it ground to the bottom of this bolt here 
section down runs down through the truck and hooked to the frame. Let's see. In order to do this, this is the top part of the coil, and I drilled some holes in here, and I went in here and come out here, and that's mainly just to keep the, the wire from loosening up. It just kind of locks it in a place. Then a little connector goes up, and this bolt nut screws down onto it, and then that's connected to the antenna. Then all the way back around the coil goes all the way down. This side of it runs inside and is connected to the ground side of this uh, SO239. And it's also, that same link is also connected to here. So it's grounded in both spots right here. That way if I put this on a 3 8 inch rod and stick it in the ground, theoretically it should be grounded okay. I mean, it's not gonna be perfect. But then I can also hook a counterpoise to this when I screw it on a 3 8 rod and pull the counterpoise out. So that's all in there. This wire coming out right here isn't actually this wire. See this one, I wish I had a way, found a way to lock it better. I need to seal it. But uh, this wire coming out right here is my tuning rod or wire. Comes over to an alligator clip. And then I have these little pins I've soldered in where I've tuned it. So that's 40 meters right there. That's 20 meters. Right there, and I just soldered in a little piece of copper copper wire and folded it over. So that way when I want to tune it, this will be 40 meters. I just come out and put the uh, alligator clip on it. It stays on there pretty good. And when I want 20 meters, of course you got a finagle. I wish I'd have used a little uh, softer wire. But uh, anyway, to get 20, I'll just go right there. That's the, all the tuning. I've already tuned it. So all I got to do is tap onto it right there and I'm working 20 meters. If I want to work 40, I put it there. Uh, the other one I had 10, 12, 15, 17 all the way up and they're up in this area somewhere. But then I remade it uh, so I haven't tapped into those yet. And I probably won't do much but besides maybe 10 meters. Uh, I don't get on 12, 15, 17 much. Uh, See if that gets a little better angle of the, it ain't the prettiest cause it, it wasn't as easy to solder that into that wire as I thought. And these aren't, I want to make sure I didn't uh, go through. So you don't want the wire touching on these coils. So uh, works out good. And you can see, I just took a stick pin and that's how I tuned it. I just found out where I needed it at and uh, tuned it. And I'll probably seal these up a little bit with some silicone or something. The bracket, I got lucky. This is just my cover bracket. So uh, I just drilled a hole in it and put it right on it. And it's pretty sturdy. I mean, it's, it wobbles a little. But not bad. Boy, there's a jet or something going over. But it don't stand out too crazy. I guess if you knew what you was looking for, <laughs> it does, but and it's all disassembled, it's disassembled real easy. I can, like I say, take that off. If I need to throw my kayaks and stuff back here, I can just screw that off and take it off, throw it in the toolbox. And then that slides out too, so I ain't gonna worry about that. But that's really it. Uh, now I just take it mobile. I've already made some contacts. I did a Connecticut, Maryland, Florida yesterday. I hadn't done much HF in today because I've been making a bracket for the radio. But uh, I got a little clip that I'll put in when I'm uh, got it going just so you can hear how it sounds. But that's it. Hope you like it. Like I say, uh, it's not hard to make. I would really, what I have in it, if I counted the wire and everything, it's probably maybe $20, $25 in the whole thing. Uh, finding the whip might be a challenge for some if you don't have one of those. But the nuts, bolts, wire, all that stuff's pretty easily found. Uh, and like I say, well, this one's 52 inches. Six foot would be probably better, but uh, that's all I had. 
and it worked so I'm gonna leave it alone but it'd be a lot better than throwing a dipole out when I go park on top of a mountain a little HF mobile well, y'all have a good one AK4 PJ